What's up? Here Dr. BC and in this video I am going to root Samsung Galaxy S Duos 2 that is GT S7582. This is my Samsung Galaxy S Duos 2 an awesome low to mid range phone from Samsung. For our previous video of unboxing, gaming, performance and more on this phone click on the link flashing on your screen. In this video, I will root this phone. First of all, I will show you the Android version that is installed on this device. Go to setting, then in more, go to about device. Here you can see that model number is GT7582 and the Android version is 4.2.2 that is Jelly Bean. Tap this few times to see the Jelly Bean emocon. Tap on this emocon to see the Jelly Bean wallpaper. This is very nice. Now go back. Now I will show you the status of this phone. Again go to setting and then go to more and tap this status icon then go in the last. Here you can see that device status is official. So a official ROM is installed on this device and in this video I will root this stock ROM. Now I will show you the root status of the phone. For that I have installed a program from Google Play. Open this and tap on the verify icon. Here you can see that device doesn't have root access. Now I will show you the recovery status on the phone as this product is still official. So this can boot into stock recovery. Now I will turn off this phone. Now wait till the phone is turned off. Once it turn off, press volume up key, home button and power key together to go into recovery mode. Phone will turn on and once you see the Samsung logo, release all these keys and the phone will go into recovery mode. This is stock recovery. In this menu, you will update your phone and also wipe the phone data and the catchy. Now I will boot this phone by pressing the power button. So it is very easy to go in recovery mode on this phone. Now this is turned on. Now I will show you how to root this phone. Before rooting this phone, you have to turn on the USB debugging mode on this phone. For that go to setting and then go to more. Here you can see that developer tab is not displayed. Now you have to turn on this by going into about phone and then tap this build number 3 to 7 times. Now you can see that developer mode has been enabled. Now you will see the developer option here. Tap this. Make sure the developer option is enabled. And in the debugging, make sure that USB debugging is checked. If not, check this and press OK. This will enable USB debugging mode on the phone. Now it's time to connect the phone to the computer. Use micro USB data cable for that. Now on the computer, you will see the driver are installing that is composite device driver, COM port and modem. For successful installation either you are connected to internet or you have installed KAIS or installed the Samsung USB driver manually by installing this file. Now to root this phone you have to install vroot on your PC. I have already installed this file on my PC. Open this vroot application. Here you can see that device is connecting. Please fit and don't touch the USB cable. And on the phone you will see that device is asking to allow USB debugging to the computer with fingerprint so and so. Allow this by tapping this OK. Now on the PC you will see fail and retry USB debug. So retry this by clicking this reconnecting button. Now you can see that device is connecting and now it is installing the daemon. Now GT S7582 is detected as it is connected and the software is checking the root permission on the phone. No root permission. On the phone you will see some Chinese application is installed. This shows that phone and PC are interconnected. And on the PC, you will see the root button. Click this root button to start rooting process. Now SDS2 is rooting and finally you get a congratulation message that SDS2 is rooted and it is rebooting. Now you will see that SDS2 is rebooting. Now SDS2 is booted up. In application draw, you will see that super user app. Tap this to open this app. As you can see that this app is totally written in Chinese language, so it is very difficult to understand it. Now I will show you the root status. Here you can allow this and you can see that this device has root access. This super user app is making some problem as this is in Chinese language. So I will try to install clockwork mode super user app. Once installed, open this and this will ask for binary updates. Do this and this required root permission. Allow this. Now binary are updated as you cannot uninstall this Chinese super user app but you can disable this app in application manager. Go to all and open the app and tap force stop and then clean data and finally the disable. Now this is disabled. 
Now go back and open super user app and update SU binaries. This app hangs on installing super user till it is on installation. Now quit this and go to root checker. You can see that super user is crashed. Leave it. Now tap the verify root SS. Now you can see that waiting a long waiting. So by disabling the Chinese super user app stops all the root SS permission. So for root SS we have to re-enable this by going to application manager then enable the super user app. Leave this now on application draw you will again see the super user app. Now let's see the root status. This will ask for permission allow that and here you can see that the device is rooted. So this Chinese super user app is the only one way to grant root permission to the app. So by this we root application you can root your Samsung Galaxy S2. This completed this part of video. If you like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The subscription link is shown on your screen. For more videos keep watching BCD Tech. Thank you and keep sharing. Bye.